Hey everyone, so, uh, new video since about last week. And, uh, many people have been, you know, they've been asking, how do you do that 3D text, like with uh, the shadows and, like, it's reflective. So I just thought I'd, I'd do that, you know, just show you quickly how I do it. So maybe you can use it in your own videos. Alright, so, uh, whoa, whoops. So this is just, um, just footage of a building that I did. Uh, it's a random building, I guess. Uh, let me just do that. Right, there we go. Now, I'm going to be using a plugin called Element 3D for After Effects, and uh, I'm not sure how much it is, but it's it's a great plugin. You know, you, you can do 3D text, you can do 3D objects, put them in the scene, and overall, you know, if you want to spend a couple of, I don't know how much it is, but uh, if you want to spend some money, then use this. So, right, here's the footage. Now, oh, we're also using a plugin called Camera Tracker from the Foundry, which is a uh, camera tracker, obviously. So if you don't have that, there's a trial in the description, which I'll put when I'm done with the video. So what's this, what this does is track every frame, and then you can put 3D objects in it. So let's do that. Um, okay, right. Track features. So you want to set the resolution to full here. Set it to full, and up here you can see track features. So just press that. Now it will do every frame until it tracks everything, and uh, I'll just wait for this thing to do it. Right. So once that's all done and you've uh, tracked every frame, you go here to solve camera, and it will solve it for you. And here we have a, um, it's like a results thing, so 1.29 pixels error, which is good because the lowest value to zero is better, so uh, 1.29 is good. Press OK, and then you press create scene here, and it will create a camera and a null object, for, you don't really need that, but anyway. Now here's the fun bit, we're going to create a new text layer here. Uh, I'm just going to call it test, where it is, in capitals actually. And I'm going to make it bigger. There we go. Oops. Okay, so. Now we're going to create a new layer, a new solid. Uh, black solid, yeah, yeah. And we're going to go to effect. Video Copilot, which uh, which you should have downloaded. If you don't, then do it. And Element. And when it decides to load, there. So here we got uh, the options here. So we're going to go to Custom Layers, Create Text and Masks, and the Path Layer One. We're going to choose the text we just made here called Test. So we've got that done. Then we go into scene setup here and we press extrude here. Now the text is in 3D, so there you go. It looks quite good. Da -da 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 -da. Right, so the text here you won't see it because it's uh, the camera's gone, I think. Anyway, so you're going to hide the text you just made here because you don't need that anymore. And you're going to go to your element layer go to world transform and just mess around with the X, Y and Z to, so the text appears. There we go, like that. So I've made it like a thousand. And if you want you can rotate the text so it matches the scene. So uh, like that. Um, yeah, yeah, like that. Alright, now you can see it's moving with the camera like that. Let me move it a bit actually. Rotation. There. Like that. Now, right now, you can't really... You can tell that it's like not within the scene because there's no like reflections or anything. So, 
we're going to go back to scene setup here and we're going to choose some textures for it so I'm going to use the chrome texture here the material actually so it's all uh, shiny and stuff there we go see so I've just gone here to materials and there's chrome there done and now here's the trick you're going to go to render settings uh, there environment uh, over uh, yeah, show in background override layer you're going to choose um, the footage file you had so 0018 and it reflects with the environment around you so it looks like it's within the scene there we go um, yeah so if you want to preview it so let's just quickly do that also if you want you can add some color correction just to make it look nicer um, I mean right now it doesn't look that good but you know so once that gets to this bit there, then we can play through it. If we just play through it, you can see. Oops. Yeah. See, uh, you know, the textures. You know, they're reflecting the environment around them, and it looks like it's within the scene. And I think that's uh, quite good. How about some color correction then? Might as well. I'm going to go to uh, Effect, Color Correction, and Toner. And I have a preset here called Tone Blue, but you can just do whatever you want. And what this does, it just makes it more bluer, if that's a word. And I'm going to copy that to the, uh, the text layer here. And there you go. Your own 3D text within the scene so it looks like it's there and if you want you can even change you know the texture if you want um, let's go metal if I wanted it bronze like that that's not that good that's horrible oh well yeah so right silver gold and there you go that's a quick way to do 3d text um, it's helped a lot with my work and I hope it helps you so thanks for watching and see you later